refugees have left Syria for neighboring Lebanon, which according to the United Nations now hosts more refugees than any other country. And conditions there are reportedly the worst of anywhere in the region. Greg Palcott spent some time with the refugees close to the border. He's live in Lebanon's capital city of Beirut. Greg? Shep, some of the real casualties of the war in Syria are the millions who have been fleeing the fighting there. After spending a day with the refugees here in Lebanon, we can tell you it doesn't get much worse than this. We were up in a border town near to the Syrian border. The population has doubled with the influx of refugees there. We saw extended families living in makeshift huts, a little more than cardboard boxes for homes, sewage, garbage all around, sanitation was bad. The majority of the folks we were seeing were children. They are affected very badly by this. They're not going to school. They're trying to be happy. The government here overwhelmed, not supplying uh, aid, not supplying services in the proper amounts, and the numbers are soaring. Just in the past week, some 13,000 new refugees have come in here since the tensions have heightened with the threat of the strike. What about that U.S. military? Strike. What are people thinking? Some of the refugees are so shell-shocked, they didn't want to say anything. Some are opposing it. They've seen too much combat. They don't want to see any more fighting. But some said that it was right to strike against Bashar al-Assad and his forces. Here is what one person had to say. He branded uh, Assad a criminal, a killer. Take a listen. Yes, it is good. The most important thing is that the war ends. Enough of this. It's been three years now. The consensus of everyone here, Shep, they want peace, they want to go home. Back to you. And Greg, the United Nations is scheduled to meet tomorrow with ministers of countries that have taken in the most refugees to try to figure out what to do next. Lebanon among them. The UN projects that 3.5 million refugees will have left Syria by year's end. Some dramatic video.